In FeatureCam 2013, you now have the ability to change the start point for a number of 5-axis operations. In this example, you can see we've got swarf operations and trim operations. Also in the FM file, you can see there are pre-saved moved start point examples contained within this group. We're going to look at how to change the start point for each of these operations. If I turn off the two trim operations, I'm just going to unshade the model. And I'm going to play a centerline simulation. So we have a swarf operation working its way down the component. If I look at one of the trim operations, and again play the centerline simulation, you can see the start point is located over here. The final operation, again playing the simulation, you'll notice we have the start point over here. So between all three operations we've got different starting locations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the start points for each one of these using a start curve. Looking from the top we can see a curve has already been created and this is the position that I want all of my start points to occur. If a curve has multiple segments it will be every other segment is used for the start points where they cross the toolpath. So to include this curve, I simply go in, I'm just going to say rename, I'm going to copy that name. Then in each of the operations I'm going to go into the properties, into the finish dialog, into the milling, and under start point I'm going to enter that curve name. Say set, apply, and OK. And repeat for the two trimming operations. So paste, set, apply and OK. Paste, set, apply and OK. I can now play the centerline simulation again for all three operations. You can now see the start point has moved. If I speed up the simulation, just view from the top, you can see my start point curve and you can see where the start point of each of the operations now starts at that location.